Hi guys, welcome to another day of this bathroom taking way longer than it should. So I got more tiles, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting those tiles down and then I'll come back when we start to grout because I'm just gonna do all of that the same day or today so we can move on. Okay, tile is all laid. As you can see on this side, I actually cut the tiles to to match. That was a, a headache. Um, I broke a lot of tiles. But around here where there's supposed to be like black tiles and along this wall here, then I'm not gonna, well, one, my tile cutter isn't cutting those little tiles, so I'm not going to place them. But there's going to be molding. The vanity is going to be here, so I don't think they're really necessary. Now it's time to grout. I wanted, I kind of wanted black grout, but we got white grout for free. So I'm just going to do white grout, which is still going to look good. And in the future, if I want to... Um, diet then that's also a possibility i said i was going to come back but i'm tired and i tried to do like a small section in the corner and then like wipe off the excess but i felt like i was wiping off too much and it said to let it sit 15 to 20 minutes and i'm like i can't wait for this corner so i just did the whole floor Hopefully, I don't mess it up too much when I walk back over it to uh, wipe off the haze, which I thought about while I was doing it, but I was like, F it. Like, let's just do it. It's so much easier doing a backsplash than this. Yeah, because it needs to set up some. We're about to climb through this hole. Can I even get through? I'm in the tub and I'm over here and it's like it's set up some but it's like how am I supposed to do this <laughs> um, I'm gonna figure it out and then I probably will just show the finished product because this isn't rocket science, um, but I guess it would be interesting to watch, but I'm over it. I'm ready to get to the fun part, like doing something with these freaking walls and this ceiling, like this yellow color is just like, why? Why? Like, why? Why do people like that color? It's just so blah. It's literally... Well, it's not even vanilla ice cream, but <laughs> I don't know. At least white is crispy. It's like, this is not even, but anywho. I'll just show y'all before I leave, probably. Um, and then hopefully tomorrow or sometime next week, the plumber will come to fix that. Or my dad realizes that we can do it ourselves. Because. I think I can do it, but I don't want to mess up. Several days later. Hmm. Oops.
Woo! Don't it look good already? <laughs> I didn't film the process because it was it was just a lot. Um, this is what it's supposed to look like. I think you guys saw the brand already. My next tile. Actually, I'll put it on the the screen. But yes, make sure you follow the instructions. It says it needs to be like level level and like they're serious or the side walls won't fit in. Yeah, so our tub isn't 100% level, so we have like a gap there, but I think it'll be fine once we caulk it. So I'm excited. We still have to wait for a plumber to do this, but. So my dad finally decided that we could do this by ourselves and pretty much we're just switching out the three handled tub faucet to a single. And these are all the supplies that we used, a PVC pipe cutter, a copper pipe cutter, um, some fittings, and this configuration the one on the left is the tub faucet and the two on the right are going to be in the hot and cold water faucets and I went to a plumbing store and they put those together for me um, so we're just taking out the old hardware here I did record a whole piece where I was explaining everything but we don't really know what we're doing this is here me I'm trying to show y'all what we did but I don't really know what I'm doing and I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do this, but we have a huge access panel so we can easily see if anything's leaking. And then here we're cutting the holes for the tub faucet and the handle piece to go through. Make sure you measure very well um, so you only have to cut once. And then I put the tub faucet, hook that up to the uh, main piece, and now I'm just cutting off the excess so that I can attach the tub faucet. And with this, you just twist the little black knob and spin it, and it eventually cuts it. I did have to secure the tub faucet um, to our support pieces back there so it didn't wiggle around don't know if that is you know standard but it worked and now I am testing the tub faucet and of course you want to make sure all of your fittings are tight and you're using this plumber's tape this prevents any leaks I don't know everything, but I know enough. And later on in the video or in the series, I did the sink faucets and we had to call a plumber in because the fittings were like too small to like reach in our amateurish hands. But the plumber said I did a really good job and asked me if I wanted a job. So, you know, I'm not a professional, but I basically am. So... <laughs> That was the shower faucet that I was adding the plumber's tape to. And here I am just connecting that to our upward pipe. And I'm just screwing it very tight. I probably had my dad come in and make sure it was super tight. And now I'm just adding the shower head. I always recommend a detachable shower head like this cleaning is just so much easier and we also added a shut off valve to save water while you're in the shower but it keeps your shower settings and that was my g daddy's recommendation and now everything is together so i'm just testing all of the pieces letting the water run um pulling the tub stop so the shower comes on, checking behind the shower to make sure nothing is leaking. Um, at this point, I think we were all good. And stay tuned for the next video where we start tackling trim and wall decorations.